Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, it's DB from Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and what I want to talk about today in this video is going to be Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remastered, and how you cannot purchase that game without purchasing it in a bundle with Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you guys that are unaware, COD 4 Remastered, or Modern Warfare Remastered as it's being called, cannot be purchased individually. You have to purchase it in a bundle with Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. This is... Definitely a very odd decision to me. I'm going to be bringing up a lot of points here in this video because it's very interesting, this business strategy that Activision slash Affinity Ward is going with. They could honestly, in my own personal opinion, justify charging $30 to $60 for a remastered version of COD 4, and I think a lot of people would actually purchase that. But instead, they're bundling it with Infinite Warfare, meaning you can't purchase the game without Infinite Warfare. This means that the game itself will inherently have a $20 value, and the reason why is because they have a number of editions of Infinite Warfare that you can purchase, which will also come with COD 4 Remastered. So you have the $80 Legacy Edition, and side note, there's also going to be a Digital Legacy Edition for those of you guys that like digital stuff rather than having a physical version of the game, which will feature Infinite Warfare... Modern Warfare Remastered, and a digital item. Now, we don't know what this digital item is going to be. If they announce something along the lines of specialists, I imagine it's going to be a skin for your specialist, or perhaps it's going to be something along the lines of a special camo for your weapon, or something along those lines. We have the $100 Digital Deluxe Edition, which will feature Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered, the Season Pass, as well as that same digital item I mentioned in the first one. This is actually a really good deal, in my opinion, because it's the same price, $100, as the Black Ops 3 Digital Deluxe Edition, but it comes with an extra game, right? The Black Ops 3 Digital Deluxe Edition was $100 for the game plus a Season Pass. This Digital Deluxe Edition is $100 for the game, a Season Pass, a digital item of some description, as well as Modern Warfare Remastered, which sounds pretty good, right? And then for $120, the big one, we have the Legacy Pro Edition, which will feature Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered, a Season Pass, a collectible hard steel book thing case. Those things are actually really cool. I have one for a couple of my games, as well as the official soundtrack and additional digital items and things along those lines. So we have all these different bundles, I suppose, that you can actually purchase, which will give you access to COD 4 Remastered. But the fact that there is an $80 Legacy Edition, which comes with the game plus Modern Warfare Remastered, that inherently means that Modern Warfare Remastered is going to be a $20 value. $60 for Infinite Warfare, $20 for Modern Warfare Remastered, which is odd and raises a lot of red flags for me personally, because $20 is the current price of the original Call of Duty 4. You know, the game from 2007 with its 2007 graphics and multiplayer that hasn't been supported in years, therefore is full of bugs, mods, and glitches, right? It's the exact same price, which again, raises some red flags because like, what, what are they doing wrong with this game if they're charging it the same price as the game that came out in 2007? That's, you know, that's a little bit odd. I don't know exactly what they're going to be doing with that. There's already been some red flags raised about the fact that they only have 10 of the multiplayer maps as compared to the 20 that were originally in Call of Duty 4, are they going to be stripping down even more of the game to make it a $20 value? I'm not entirely sure about that. Also, I would like to bring up the point that this might actually be the new business model for Call of Duty going forward. Picture a world where Call of Duty Infinite Warfare breaks records in terms of sales numbers, right? Let's say this game is a huge success in terms of its sales and it makes a lot of money for Infinity Ward as well as Activision. If these sales actually go up substantially enough, we may see remaster bundles be the new business model for Call of Duty in the future and it actually makes perfect sense for them to do this. So I'm going to give you guys a little chart I wrote up here. Here in 2016, they're remastering COD 4. Let's say it's a big success and they decide, you know what, this is really good. We're going to hire Raven Software full time to be the new remaster studio and every single year while Sledgehammer, Treyarch, or Infinity Ward starts working on new Call of Duty, they begin remastering the next Call of Duty down the line. So 2016 we remaster COD 4, 2017 we remaster World at War, 2018 we remaster Modern Warfare 2, they just go all the way down the line until you get to 2026 where they remaster Infinite Warfare and that they continue doing that. So every single year they could continue to make a brand new Call of Duty game while at the same time never running out of old games for them to actually remake because we are already so far into the Call of Duty history, I suppose, that there's already a giant back catalog of games that need to be remastered, right? So that's something that they could do. This could be the new business model for Call of Duty going forward. But it is a bit disappointing, I would say, for a lot of people that you cannot purchase Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remastered as its own separate game. I think a lot of people would just like to do that. Just, you know, for $30 to $60, allow me to purchase this game. I think a lot of people would like that. 
but at the same time, it's also a pretty good deal, it would appear. I'm hoping this does turn out to be a very good deal and that Modern Warfare Remastered isn't only a $20 value, because if it is a $20 value, that says to me they're probably going to be stripping down a lot of things in that game. We already know that the original COD 4, including DLC, had 20 multiplayer maps, and the remastered version is only going to have 10 maps. What if they were to only bring back, say, 15 of the guns? What if they were to only bring back 6 of the perks? And there's only 3 killstreaks in the game, so they couldn't you know, cut that down anymore. But uh, what if they were to do that, and the game would only actually be worth $20? That would be disappointing, in my opinion. So I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm definitely interested to learn more about COD 4 Remastered. I assume we're going to be getting a full trailer for the game in the near future, probably around E3, maybe, something along those lines. And I have a hunch that the rest of the multiplayer maps, there's going to be 10 of them in the game, like I mentioned. The ones that are confirmed are going to be Crash, Backlot, and Crossfire. I have a feeling the other seven are going to be leaked somehow between now and E3, but we'll have to see if that's the case. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to conclude my video, as was my little theory for Call of Duty Remaster Bundles becoming the new business model for Call of Duty games going forward. I personally would be a big fan of that. I'd pay 80 bucks a year for Call of Duty if it meant I got the new Call of Duty plus the remastered version of the old one. That sounds great. But uh, of course, time will tell. We're going to have to see what Activision has up their sleeve. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to conclude my video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And let me know in the comment section below, are you going to be purchasing the Legacy Edition of Infinite Warfare to get access to Modern Warfare Remastered? And would you be open to the idea going forward if every single year they were to charge $80 for a new Call of Duty game, but it comes bundled with a remastered version of a game that came out previously? Let me know about that. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Drop me a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.